makes you a better person. And then you struggle and forge a relationship. And finding and forging is much more romantic to me as a notion than the idea that, you know, there's somebody out there you know, connect. I walked across so an empty land. I knew the pathway like the back of my hand. I felt the earth beneath my feet, sat by the river, and it made me complete. Oh, simple thing, where have you gone? I'm getting. Something to rely on So tell me when You're gonna let me in I'm getting tired And I need somewhere to begin I came across A fallen tree Defining and forging In the words of my children Oh, by the way you know, the brewer. I brewer. <laughs> he had a line of beer. Oh, simple thing. Where have you gone? I'm getting old and I need and, uh, and, I, and I'm irritated because we're getting older. He's getting older, particularly. <laughs> <laughs> and at some point, you know, there's a saying that the child becomes the, the, the father of the man. And as his father, I would have expected him to, to ask my opinion. <laughs> but he didn't, and he was going to tell me this, and I was ready for it. And so, so I picked up the phone, and, and, and he talked to me, and he says, I haven't asked. I said, I know it is, and, and you yeah, have a blessing. You know, love Stephanie, she's great. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? He says, I'm not getting married. I did that. You know, I went through a period of my life, and I did the marriage thing, and I'm not getting married again. And I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking about that. Oh, I better start working on this speech. <laughs> I'm the first middle child. <laughs> I'm the first. You're good, Jamie. Take everyone a little while. <laughs> Number two, it says, and I'm not kidding, actually, this is great. Express your pleasure that your son has found such a wonderful woman <laughs> and of their upcoming marriage. So I am pleased that my son has found such a wonderful woman. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this, this, you guys notice this, but suddenly this dad we had was just a distant dad. It suddenly started with the hugging thing and relays with the kissing thing. And it was a little disturbing, but <clears throat> in some ways, you know, when we talk about Dad 2.0, I kind of met Dad when you met Dad. Maybe like two years earlier. It was the same guy, so we both had to get to know him at the same time. <laughs> uh, Aunt Jerry, is that uh, what the children did represents a skipping of the generation? of the, I can't tell you how many times that uh, we got notes from Aunt Jerry through Maryland that said, by the way, it is Grandma's 32nd anniversary of the first time she won a tennis tournament and you need to write a poem. <laughs> <laughs> and we all said, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> did that all on their own. And I have to, I can only acknowledge the fact that there must be some Miller gene in them. <laughs> that skipped a generation and got expressed. And I, uh, I couldn't be more proud of them. And I think the... Uh... Um, I love the idea of family. I love that my sons have cousins, even if they're only second cousins. I love these cute little girls because I don't love them. <laughs> we thought of a destination wedding to Antarctica. Oh, <laughs> Publishes the same thing. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, we considered all the possibilities. Uh, but we decided that what we really wanted was to celebrate the day and to celebrate the day with the people who are important to us. And each of you is in this room. And we are so grateful to see you. The wedding, I, I don't count. Yeah. Don't nobody start a fight. Yeah.